Hey guys. Um, sorry I'm all sweaty and gross. It's like a heat index of 105, 108 today. It's really hot. And I just got home and decided I would do this real fast so I wouldn't forget everything. <laughs> um, Bella had her 18 month checkup today. Um, <laughs> in 18 months she went from 2 pounds 9 ounces to 21 pounds 12 ounces. I cannot believe it. <laughs> and she went from 14 inches long to 31 inches long. So she is in the um, 10th percentile, over the 10th percentile for her weight and the 25th to 50th percentile for her height. Um, the doctor was very impressed and pleased with her height and weight and she said she's doing amazing for being such a small pretty baby and that she thinks definitely by the time she's two she should be caught up. So that is really good. Um, she it was a really fast appointment. Um, got a shot. Um, she didn't get. I'm reluctant to just tell you this, but she didn't get. She still hasn't gotten her MMR shot. Um, just because I don't think it causes autism, but. I don't know. I just wanted to wait longer until we knew what was going on with her, um, developmentally and stuff. But she'll definitely get it probably um, on her two-year checkup, which is the next time the doctor sees her. Um, which is just crazy to me. I was like, no, you have to see her more so we know how much she weighs. I'm like obsessed with knowing how much she weighs. <laughs> but our scale, like, you should. Anyway, um. She gave us a script for um, hearing, a hearing test and um, speech evaluation for speech therapy. She said they might make her wait till she's two, just because that's what they do with most kids. But since she's a preemie, then um, they might just take her. So we're gonna try. <sighs> um. Anyway, she got evaluated. Um, beginning of this month for occupational therapy um, and she definitely needs it <sighs> she can do a lot of the things they were trying to get her to do and I was actually extremely surprised that they were trying to get her to do those things because I thought it was like so advanced but I guess it's not <laughs> I guess she's just really delayed um, but she has said that she thinks she might have some sort of sensory processing disorder, which would make a lot of sense. Um, I had sensory processing disorder, or I had a lot of sensory issues when I was a child. I don't think it actually like had a name back then. Um, I think I'm the opposite of Bella. I think Bella is sensory seeking. And I was definitely, like, the opposite. Like, I hated tags in the back of my shirt. You had to cut out every tag. I hated the seams and socks, like, by the toes. So I had to wear my socks inside out. Um, I hated, um, what else? I couldn't wear turtlenecks. That bugged me. Um, I, I, I'm pretty much over... All of that, the only thing I still have problems with is um, paper. Hate the feel of paper. Can't stand it. Um, or the way pencil writes on paper. Like, I hate the way when you're writing with a pencil, I hate the way it feels. I know it sounds so weird. So I always have to write in pen. I, I can't stand pencils. Um... <laughs> 
those are literally the only two things that have stuck around. I remember going through lots of therapy, having to be brushed. Um, but they, she said, like, all of the reasons why she's not sitting and everything is probably a lot of sensory issues, the way it feels to her. Um, so that, that could be it. And um, I still think there might be something else going on to make her do her little crazy hand and feet thing. But she also said that that could be caused by it because it just stim. It's a stimulation. It's a, like, some people suck their thumbs and twirl their hair. She twi twirls her hands and her feet. Um, but not to encourage her to do it in that she could easily not necessarily grow out of it, but come a lot less. Um... So after that evaluation, they said that they would fill out the report, send it to the pediatrician, and then call it back. They have yet to call me back. I saw the pediatrician today, and they said they faxed her the thing on the 9th of this month. So I'll have to call him, which is what I've had to do in this office all the time. They never call me back. Seems like that with a lot of places. Um, <laughs> I don't understand how businesses like that stay in service. That's such bad customer service. Anyway, um, this past month has been like someone switched a light switch in Bella's brain, and it's been amazing. <laughs> She's so much fun. She mimics everything now. Um, she'll give kisses when you say Bella, give kisses. She'll. Um, she does a growling crazy noise that she likes to mimic. She pulls herself to stand on everything. Well, she'll do it in her playpen. She'll pull herself to stand and she'll walk in circles around it holding on. But she will not do it anywhere else. She won't, she'll pull herself up on the TV stand if there's something up there that she really wants. Um, so that has been really exciting. She's getting into sitting by herself. That's a new thing. She's never been able to get into sitting um, until recently. She crawls around like a maniac. She doesn't roll as much anymore. Um, <laughs> she, she's just so much more fun and it's finally like, yay, I've gotten a toddler now. I don't have a baby. Um, because she was in that baby stage for so long, it seemed like. They normally grow out of it real fast. They're crawling by nine months. They're standing. They're walking by 12 months. And she just never hit any of those milestones. And it was so frustrating. Like, it was, it was like, I kind of felt lucky because I was like, oh, I get my baby for a little bit longer. But at the same time, it was just like, I'm ready for the next stage, you know. Especially with her wa not walking yet. 21 pounds, carrying 21 pounds everywhere. It does a lot, especially when you're out of shape, <laughs> like me. Um, it really puts a strain on the back. Especially, we live on the third floor of an apartment complex. So we have like four flights of stairs to go up every time. It sucks. <laughs> I can't wait till she can walk upstairs by herself. Um, also, back to like the sensory processing thing. Um, I was definitely not sensory seeking, but I think she is, like, she loves things to be in her face. She loves anything thrown on her face. She loves anything in her face. Just anything. She likes to pull, we have video games and DVDs on top of our TV stand. She likes to pull those down on her, like, she likes the feeling of them falling on her. Um, she likes like pressure and being thrown and not like like you know like thrown up in the air um but at the same time there's lots of things she doesn't like either like she doesn't like things on her feet her toes are always curled um but i finally found a shoe that she'll wear thank god 
there was a little sandal. I got them so I could see when her toes were curled, so I could uncurl them for her. Because before her toes were curled in like in tennis shoes, then I would know and her feet would fall asleep and they'd turn purple and it, it just wasn't fun for anyone. Um, but anyway, I have a lot to talk about. <laughs> she has a neurologist, another neurologist appointment on the 5th of July. I wasn't too excited about it since it was with the nurse, since it's with the nurse practitioner, but I'm getting more optimistic about it. Um, I don't know. She, what else? Austin, my boyfriend, my fiance, whatever you want to call him technically. I guess he's my fiance. He is joining the army. Um, I'm very excited about it, but also very nervous. Bella loves her daddy. That is her favorite person in the world. And for him to be gone at weeks, even years at a time, at some times it it'll be hard but it'll be exciting it'll be exciting but anyway what's going on with that is he reserved a job where he was supposed to leave October 31st for basic training um he'd get to come back for two weeks in Christmas and then have to go back. It was supposed to be like a 12 week basic training or 9 week. I don't know. And then the job that he reserved, it was going to be like more school after that. And then another school after that. But I'm excited to get to move. I hate Florida. With a passion. And would happily go anywhere except Georgia. Because Georgia is just right for it. Um, I want to go to Tennessee like nobody's business. Um, there's Fort Campbell, which is on the line of Kentucky and Tennessee, and I live in Tennessee. Um, that is where I want to live. Um, the only bad thing is, is, like, my parents are here. And it would get lonely, but I'm excited for new things. I'm excited for insurance. I'm excited. Bella has insurance. Okay, I will be honest. Bella is on Medicaid. And I absolutely hate it. I thank God that there is Medicaid. But I hate it. Because kids on Medicaid don't get treated as well. And I think a lot of our problems with doctors right now is because she's on Medicaid. Um, she, so I'm excited to have better insurance and they said that if she's deemed to see special doctors like physical therapists, occupational therapists, <laughs> neurologists, stuff like that, then they'll most likely put us where one of their major medical hospitals are which is in San Antonio, Texas, which I don't really want to go there either, but I would go. Or Maryland, which I would love, love to go. Um, so, or if his job doesn't require him to go to those two places, which the job he picked didn't, then they would... Um, the army, the military would bring, or the army would bring in those doctors for her, the outside doctors for her, and pay for it, which is awesome. I know I don't believe anything that our critters say, I know, I know, I know, but it has to be better than what we have. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. <laughs> this is all over the place. Um, she, uh, not she, um, he... 
reserved a job and then they found out about he has a thing called mitral lap mitral valve prolapse which is honestly nothing it's so common and half the people that have it don't even know they have it um This is gonna be two parts because it's longer than two minutes. Um, they don't even know that they have it, and then there's an ant crawling on the dresser, and it's distracting me. Can you say ADD? That would be me. Um, <laughs> so they wanted a medical record before they sent him to MEPS, which was in Tampa. Uh, so we it was a bigger deal trying to find that and get that. So we sent it like a week ago, and we still haven't heard anything back. And so he can't get the job that he reserved because people have seven days to actually go get sworn in after you do it. I don't know. So we're waiting to hear back from that. Anyway, here's my fiance because we have to get married in order for me and Bella to actually mean something to the army. Um, we are not getting married just because of that. We do love each other and we were going to get married anyway. I just wanted to wait until I lost the weight and my brother is getting married in September and I didn't want to step on any toes. And But I think we're just going to do a quick courthouse wedding um, and do like a ceremony later when I lose the weight and wear the white dress and do all that. I think that's what we'll do. Also, weight loss update. They upped my thyroid medication, which is awesome. I'm finally seeing um, results after working out with a personal trainer for months and months and months. Uh, I've lost seven inches in like two weeks and seven pounds, something like that. So that's good. Um, yeah. I'm going to stop talking. So I can hopefully cut out some of this and it's not this long and I don't have to make it in two parts. Sorry I talked so much. Thank you for listening. I'll be back after her neurologist appointment on the 5th. Maybe. Okay, bye.